What's going on, people? It's Shimanda YB back once again. So, it's all been kicking off right now with Eddie Earn Hearn versus Ben Shalong. Yeah, he allegedly packing it. That's what his name implies. Yeah, no, listen, people. No one calls, no one has the name in their family, Shalong, for nothing. Stop. Yeah, the Shalong family originates from what well, has a lineage of Shalongs. Yeah, well endowed men. That's the bottom line, people. So, whatever Eddie Hearn says here, end of day, Eddie, your name ain't Eddie Shlong. So, all due respect, yeah, if we was all to get butt naked right now, Ben Shlong be the one winning that contest. That's all that really matters, metaphysically speaking, people. When it's all said and done, you can't take the money in the bank with you. Yeah? But the Nan you've came with that Shalom will live on forever. Through the generations. Look at Genghis Khan. Yeah? Oops. Apparently half the people in Asia are from Genghis Khan. He with it like that. So the Shalom family, they with it like that. Anyway. So <laughs> Eddie Hearn goes in on Ben Shalom and Adam Azim and everyone ducking. So here we go. You can't talk about we're a victim of the game. They don't want to work with us because it's absolute rubbish, Ben. When Fabio Wadley versus Fraser Clark got ordered, they pulled out. They've just done it again with Adam Bazim and Dalton Smith. Jay Opatia versus Richard Riapohi. They pulled out. Oh no, it's looking bad. Caroline Dabois versus Beatrix Ferreira. They pulled out. Now Chef Clark is mandatory for Isaac Chamberlain and they won't even mention his name. You're seeing the benefit of box to boxing of Matron and Queensbury working together. Five brilliant fights there and everyone they haven't been willing. And everyone they have been willing. So there's Eddie Hearn exposing Ben Chalong's victim mentality. Now I do have to say that it's kind of like I don't get it myself. Yeah, If my name was YB Shalong. There's nothing to be a victim about. Like how many things do you want to win at life? Yeah? Your name Shalong. It precedes itself. Trust me, more time. You go to the club, yeah? That's what I'd do. If, I, if my name was the YB Shalong, yeah? More time, I'd just have my driving license posted here. Oops. And the gal then will be like, Whoa, this cat. I ain't tell no fibs. Yeah? My birth certificate. It's been said this one. Shalong proceeding yeah proceeding me the name say nothing i say nizzle i'll just pull up and post up my id right there hanging off a chain oops so i don't know why ben would have victims things for but he's always playing that one oh no i want to work with me and i think ben's a bit young although actually frank's frank's old and he he's sour he been sour yeah until the saudi daddy came along and made frank grips his hand up he was sour too, so it's one of them ones. But Ben is young. Is he naive or not even naive? But is he? I don't know what Ben's play is. Well, Ben's. Um, I don't want to get too political, but Ben, yeah, we'll leave it there. Yeah, yeah. those that no, no, so 100%. So Ben, it's one of them, and the coin. It's all about the coin and coin retention. Yeah. How can I retain coin? Well, I don't want to let my. It's the old method, or the standard method. Fight in house. PBC do it, everyone does it. Fight in-house and then you keep the belts and you keep the clout within. If one of your fighters loses to one of your other fighters, it's it's a net gain. Whereas if one of your fighters loses to someone outside the organisation, you've just completely been smoked. End of day. Yeah? Your fight has fallen off and you've put someone else's promotion on. But what's the, what's the saying? You, I don't know, this ain't the same. This is not the same, but it's one of these, similar to this. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. There's something better than that. It's kind of like one where two people working together, or f two hands clap better than one. Or something like that. That's what this is. Yeah? In economics, what's it called again? In economics, um, not competition, not competition. Essentially, um, Across borders, countries working together, 
is more profitable for everyone. There's a particular word for it, I've completely forgot now. But countries working together, rather than being isolationist, leads to a better situ than everyone not trading together. Everyone trading together works out best for everyone. And on the net basis, if you back your promotional abilities, then yes, one fighter in one particular thing may lose, but another one may win. So it all balances out at some point. Unless you've got a moody promoter operation and you ain't getting the talent. But if you can retain or attract and retain the talent, over time, you might lose some heads, but you'll gain some heads. And it'll balance out. The cream will rise to the top. And that's what sport really should be about. The cream rising to the top. If you've got a good guy and another guy's got a good guy, you see who the best wins. What you don't do is, well, no, I don't do that. Let's just keep everyone in house and fighting bumps. Yeah? Now there's an argument. Well, why be? Ben Chalong, he kept down Fraser Clark. And Fraser Clark might have got smoke. But then again, did that? Who thinks? Who here thinks that? Marius Wack fight, 10 rounder, really did much. It might have done. It might have done, I guess, maybe. I, I just don't get the... Oh, sorry. I don't understand the logic. Like, there's a guy, Ben Whitaker. He looks all right, doesn't he? I, I don't watch him, because... Not because he's not exciting or whatever. I don't watch him, because I ain't, I ain't interested in bum fights. I don't get... I don't know what people get out of that. What... I've never boxed, so I can't. People talk about experience, possibly, but experience ain't going in there and clowning on someone. Naz could do that, till he got punched in his mouth by the Mexican cat, and he ain't want no more, <laughs> right? So what, what's the point? You've already got the skills. But I believe by the point you're at Ben Whitaker's level, he ain't really going to change and learn nothing. He hasn't changed, I don't believe, much in the last few years. You are who you are then, so at that point, you just got to test it. I guess, promotionally speaking, you want to build them up and build them up, and every fight you have, or is it? Every fight you have against the bum, does it build your name? It doesn't hurt your name, though, does it? It's a well-known strategy. Mike Tyson fought 20 bums. AJ fought 10, 15 bums. It's just what people do. But then AJ has moved quickly, though. I'm not sure how many fights Ben Whitaker's had. I guess you could argue Fraser Clark's moved quickly. Had, like, 10 fights. So, are we asking for too much? Possibly. I just don't see the value in it, personally speaking. It's much better to get him in there at the British title level. Ben Whitaker now should be milling about. I'm trying to think. Ben Whitaker, for example, he should be in there with Dan Aziz right now. Dan Aziz just lost. Ben Whitaker versus Dan Aziz should be happening now, I believe. I don't need to see. And bear in mind, from what I've heard, Ben Whitaker, he won the fight in the last one. In fact, I'm not even sure he got a stoppage. Ben Whitaker. Now, obviously, um, spiritually speaking, Ben Whitaker, he team lighty. So, spiritually, I'm with him. But realistically, I mean, he's got a million. Wow. He's got a million people on Instagram. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's nuts. I didn't know that. So yeah, he's, he's popping. He's flashy and whatnot, which is great. And clearly it's working. So maybe he should fight more bums. I'm just thinking, oh, he's only had seven fights. Yeah, here we go. Points. So it, it was an eight rounder, people. He had an eight rounder and went distance. Do you know what I mean? What happened when Bivol in there popping his mouth? Sorry, Baturbia popping straight in his chops. I'd like to think he's going to be doing all that frilly shit, but <laughs> I'd bet Bitcoin, the turbo, it's all frilly, it's all it's all sweet and fruit, fruity, yeah, until you've got some cat, and the turbo, in my opinion, is better than the Mexican dude who punched up Naz, right, the turbo, if he ain't playing like that, you come in there, put your hand out, you, put, you, you punch for your, I believe you punch hole for it, Ben Whitaker, listen, if, if Ben Whitaker could do something, that's good for me, salute Team Lightskin, that would be a phenomenal feat. Is he ready now for seven fights? Of course not. But Dan Aziz, I don't see what... Well, Ben Whitaker just had a seven round of a, a eight round fight, so he ain't looking too dandy. Now, the guy he thought wasn't a bum, but the guy he thought was on 10 days notice. Let's see if he's been knocked out before. The point I'm making is, man, all this isolationism. No, he's never been knocked out, but he's been beat on points before. But... Robbie Chapman, oh, that's the, that's the Camden caretaker, 100%, that's, I believe, yeah, so anyway, in fact, as it happens, this cat here has been calling out Ben Whitaker, he's a journeyman, but he wants it, and he beat the guy that you beat, on point, so why not, that's what I'm saying, so anyway, I digressed, listen, Ben Chalong is a new promotion. He's trying to build his... 
They're trying to soil his seeds in the game. Is he going the wrong way around it, about it? I think it's silly, yeah? When you're... Listen. Adam Aziz had a European belt or something. Dalton Smith was his challenger. Adam Aziz has said no. That's shocking, people. There, need, there should be some sort of institution in place that doesn't allow that. Yeah? If you win a belt, you have to defend it three times. That, that is the clause of winning the belt. We ain't doing... Like Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders was that guy, yeah? He'd hang around, do nothing. Some bum would get a WBO belt. And he'd nip in there. He'd nip a belt and then nip off and then nip in. He'd, he'd never actually fight. Tell me one guy Billy Joe Saunders fought. Okay, Andy Lee. That was probably his only solid fight. That's the truth. He, no, no, Eubank. Eubank. Andy Lee. So he's done a few things. But at the world level for world belts, I think he might have beat Andy Lee actually for a belt. But after that, he'd just hang around and pick a bum. I don't rate that. There should be a clause. You win this belt, you defend it two times. Yeah, that is the... What, otherwise, what are you doing? You're a paper champion. You're a political champion. Same as Floyd Mayweather, all due respect. Floyd Mayweather would nick a belt off a bum. Ooh, Robert Guerrero's got a belt. I'll nick that. Or this guy's got a belt. I'll nick that. He ain't really want to do nothing with it, though. And it brings the institution of boxing into disrepute. When you can just, oh, I'm a European champion. And yes, you've dropped the belt, but it just makes it like a clown show. A champion, the whole point of a champion is, I'm the best in Europe. Who won it next? Like Fabio Wardley, for example. Fabio Wardley's taken out Adelaide. Good fight with Fraser Clark. On the point system, there's, in my opinion, there's no way Fraser Clark, there's no fight that, there's no way that fight was a draw. I'm happy with it. I believe if I could, if I was in charge, Clark versus Wardley would have been a draw because we need a rematch. Neve Man was definitive. Even though on the point system, Fabio Wardley clearly won, given that the low blow, given that the knockdown, given that uh, Clark kept spitting his gum shield out, that should have been another point. But in a way, I did track. The low blow wasn't real, but the gun spitting out, that was a point. So it worked out nicely. But with two points taken off, or two, losing two points, and Fraser Clark not doing enough, there's no way that Fraser Clark won that fight. So, I'm all over the place here, but Fabio Wardley represents the belt well. Adelaide at the time, he undefeated. He looked like he, looked like he on. Fabio smoked him. Up and Fabio wanted Fraser Clark straight there and then last year. Adelaide, Fraser Clark, this is some of the best, for someone of Fabio Wardley's experience, some of the best British Championship defences we've seen. Yeah, Adam Azim, as a, Adam Azim, he's a European champion, allegedly a level above. I kind of think the clout of the British belt is actually higher than European, but still. Um, I guess the best in Europe's better than the best in the UK. But it depends. There's a lot of bums in Europe who ain't doing nothing. Name me a top European fighter in in heavyweight division, for example, outside of Usyk, Hergovic. Okay, I'm talking. I'm capping. I'm I'm lying to you, people. But <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. And it, good fights. I can't lie to you. I've never watched Adam Azim once. I've never. I don't even know who Donald Smith is. But in principle, you was champ, European champion, and you've you've bottled it, ran off to not fight. This is like, what are we doing here? It's the fight game, people. Imagine you yeah, if Manchester United. I don't follow football. When I was semi-following it, it was like Man United, Arsenal, Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, something like that. So let's assume that's the case now. If you've got, imagine Man United, or let's call it a derby, Man United, Man, U, Man City. Imagine Man United saying, no, 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 we're not doing that one today. We're not, we're not playing City today because it's like, what the fuck? You just don't do that. Or imagine, yeah, City, Ima European, yeah. So imagine Manchester City versus Manchester United is for the UEFA Champions League, the European Champions League, yeah. And imagine Man City say, well, actually, we don't fancy playing there and we're just going to drop it and move on and do something else. It brings a sport into disrepute. It makes a sport like a clown show. You can be in the, you can have the, the biggest honour, right? Adam Azim, European champion, the biggest honour is to defend your belt and you're just going to dip off. The fuck? That's not how sports should work. The best should fight the best. The champion should fight the next best one. Or don't bother being a champion. No one's saying. Yeah? Adam Azim, Woven is right never to compete for a belt. No one ain't forcing you to do that. Adam Azim will knock about not collecting belts. Good for him. But if you take a belt, there should be a responsibility there. An obligation. You win a belt, you defend it two, at least twice. 
or something like that. It shouldn't be you can win a belt and drop it and, and pick and choose and, oh, well, there's a bum there. I'll pick that belt and drop that belt and fight a bum here. It, it's not a cool look, especially in the fight game. As a man, you should say, listen, my name Adam Azim. I'm European champion. Whoever won it can get it. Yeah? No problem. 100%. That's what the narrative should be. Not, oh, uh, I'm not ready to fight Dalton Smith. Well, what are you champion for then? Well, he clearly wasn't. Adam Azim is not European champion. The European champion would fight the next best in Europe. He wouldn't drop his belt and run off. Is it poor advice? Fraser Clark slagged off Ben Trelong. I wanted that fight, but maybe my management had protected me for myself. Maybe. You were growing up. I mean, Fraser Clark knocking on a 40-year-old. If a 40-year-old man can't make his own decisions, what are we doing, people? These cats ain't 15-year-old. I'm not even sure how old Adam Azim is, but he ain't 18 or 19 or 20. So he's a grown-ass man. Yeah? Act like it. Stand on it. Or just hang him out doing nothing. Don't be taking belts. Anyway, Ben Trelong... I mean, there's some more quotes here, actually. Eddie Hearn said, Eddie Hearn has revealed, you can sugarcoat what you want. Adam Azim has ducked Dalton Smith. Oops. European super lightweight world title fight. It was ordered and he's bottled it. He's planning to fight Harlem Eubank for the clout. The Harlem Eubank fight isn't more money, probably. Can I judge him for it? Yeah, I can. Yeah, because like I said, no one is. Adam Azim could have hung around and fought these random dudes with no actual significance in the game, like Harlem Eubank, on his own. He didn't have to take a belt and then drop it for the coin. It makes the sport look bad. Yeah? Man City didn't. If you don't. Listen, people. If you don't want to compete in the final. Don't get in there, yeah? Give up your spot. Give it to someone who wants it. That's the thinking here, yeah? If you don't want to compete for that in that situation, I don't want to have to fight European challengers. Hence, don't compete in, for European belt. That's what the thing should be. I don't want to potentially play Man City in the Champions League final. So I'm not going to get in. Give up your spot. Hey, give it to someone who wants it. I don't want it, yeah? That's what people should have to do. Don't bother getting in the mix if you don't really want it like that. The European champions of something mean something. Same as Carrot Top, Canelo. Being a champion is supposed to carry weight. Yeah? Especially, un I'm an undisputed champion of Europe or the world. In Carrot Top's case. Canelo, Carrot Top, Alvarez. That means, any man in my division, who, next best guy here, who up? Who wants some? It don't mean, well... I'll fight... Apparently John Ryder was... I learned the other day, John Ryder was a mandatory. It don't mean, oh, I'll fight John Ryder... Who's kind of limited, and 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 he's a hard man. There's no doubt about that. But he's limited. That's fair to say. But then I don't want to fight Benavidez, who a dog. He too big. Don't want to fight anyone who's dangerous. That's the truth. Ever since he got listen, Carrot Top got PTSD from Bivol. Bivol broke him. He's never been the same since. This, the mania I was backing to wash Usyk at two hundred pounds. Is scared of a man who makes 168 pounds because he's too big. That is PTSD trauma, people. You, that doesn't happen. That, it's not possible. Without PTSD trauma. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah? That is what Cat Top's suffering with right now. Bivol tore that ass up. And he's stressed out with it. Uh, he's traumatised. If Listen, I've heard anecdotally, if Canelo Alvarez sees any man over £175, he gets cold sweats. Just think, oh damn, this guy's £175, just like my daddy, Bivol. He starts sweating. They're just thinking about what could happen, all the possibilities. It's a bit like a woman. If a woman goes walks down a dark alley one day, yeah, and gets got by some next El Predator, you best believe... When she walked down that alleyway next time, and there's some next dude who looked like him, or she could be like, whoa, he's, gonna, he's fixing to get this ass too. Yeah? PTSD, people. That's what these guys are suffering with. Adam Azim ain't lost yet, but he might as well have. The way he's he moving. He's moving moist. And moist and like people. Not, je not real. Fugazi. Yeah? Anyway. Ben Shalong fired back, and he gave some fire, all due respect to Shalong. He said to follow him. Here we go. Peep this, people. Re ready for the peep? Ben Shalong has given his in-depth explanation on why Dalton Smith versus Azim is not happening next. Look at Wardley versus Clark situation. The amount of grief and scrutiny for that decision. Grueling fight, 12 rounds. Thank God Clark had a bit more experience. In the same way, it is also... Yeah, 
It also, sorry, it has to also be the right time for Azim. Hmm? You're the champion though. Oops. What do you mean the right time for a champion? And this is what I'm saying about political belt picking. Yeah? When Azim won that belt, I don't know, I can't tell you. I can't even tell you what he looks like. I don't know if I'm Adam. But I assume when he won that belt, it was a bum, right? 100%. He nicked the belt. He went for the belt politically. You didn't really want to represent Europe though, did he? He didn't really want to represent fighting the best in Europe. He didn't really want to be the best in Europe. He wanted to be, oh, there's a free belt there, and I'll nick it off a bum. I'll nick it off a bum, or I'll fight for a, a floating belt. That's what he wanted to do. I don't rate that. These things have to carry spiritual weight. I'm the champion of Europe, and that's what I'm 100%. There's not a man in Europe, 140 pounds soaking wet, or whatever it is, 125, whatever. There's not a man, 126 pounds soaking wet, who can do nothing with me in Europe. That's how you should feel when you win a belt like that. Not, well, actually, I'm hard fighting a bum, and it, but Dalton Smith, I don't really fancy that one. What kind of champion is that? These are the estrogenic times we're in, people. Yeah? There is an epidemic of low T. Yeah? There is an epidemic. This is 100%. Yeah? They're calling it right now. It's been termed estrogenic 19, people. Yeah? That's the pandemic we're in right now. Estrogenic 19. Low T19. No T out there. Yeah? People be drinking that soy, soy milk too much. Not a lick of nothing in that. There's no animal proteins in there. Nothing that's going to get you wham in there. Only soy. Yeah? Estrogenic soy. Fair play to Adam Azim. Fair play to Adam Azim. Adam Azim has never popped dirty. Why? He ain't taking no eggs. Oops. He off the soy, people. Yeah, he stayed drinking that soy. He wouldn't even know nothing about a, glass, a real glass of milk. He'd be on the soy beans. The, the fake one. The estrogenic one. Not my opinion. That's the facts, people. Yeah? I'm a champion until I can, I'm a champion until someone turn up who wants some. Nah, I don't want it no more. Cornball. Sit down somewhere. Adam Azim, people, if I was running boxing here, you'd get a six-month ban. Sit down somewhere. Cool, cool off and think about your actions. There has to be consequences to corny actions in my book. Yeah? Sit down somewhere and think about it. Or fight. That should be the narrative here. You're banned from fighting in Europe. Oops. Cool off for a minute. Sit down. And reflect on your estrogenic behaviour. That's what you need to do right now. Yeah? Oh, but why be there's political re If there's political reasons, go sign up to be a politician somewhere. This is boxing. Sport. Not, not doing way too much like he be doing. Anyway, we have to create a superstar. Yeah, beat Dalton Smith then. That's how, in the old days, yeah, how you became a superstar was beating the best. It wasn't, ooh, Billy Joe, ooh. Oh, there's a weak belt there. There's a weak dude at one, wherever it was, 168. Some random dude never heard of before who's got a WBO belt. Frank, set it up. Back in the day, you had to fight the best. Peter, not even had to, you wanted to. Roy Jones, he wanted to, he believed the best man out there. He wanted it. He couldn't live with himself knowing that there's another man who could be better than him. He got to run it. Where's that gone? Estrogenic 19 people is where's that gone? Just full of it. Whip. Not for me. I ain't trying to get cancelled here, but it's 100%. Turned to woman. Yeah? Back in the day, man was on the battlefield. Women do something else. These guys all now, they try to do something else. They try being there. Oh, no, I'll do the washing. Time to go to war. Now nah, I'll be doing the washing. My, my name is Adam Bazim. Time to go to war. But now nah, I'll, I'll post up here with the women and I'll, be, I'll tend to your wounds. That's what he be on. Adam Azim, Azim is a wound tender. Nothing wrong with it. Someone got to do it. It's not a man though. Not a man's job. Yeah? A man's job is to tear some hearts up. Not be patching it back together. 100%. Anyway. Um, do we choose Smith or, or Eubank? Or a Eubank? What does that mean? Harlem Eubank ain't done nothing. Again, apart from his name, I don't know him from Adam. Haven't watched one of his fights. Smith is... Oh my God, he's admitting it. Ben Jalong is admitting it. Smith is the tougher fight. Yeah. And? That's the, is that not the point? What the fuck? What are we listening to here? What is this? Yeah, Smith's actually a tougher fight, so we don't want that one. Wow. I think at this stage in his career, it will be the wrong decision. I'm not saying he wouldn't win. Well, you are. Uh, because if you thought you'd win, you'd just run it. Stop lying. You just said it. Smith's a tougher fight, and you're not sure you'll win. 
AKA he'll probably lose. But in three to four fights time, you scary ass dude. That is shocking. Three to four. At least Fraser Clark was one. Although, listen, if there wasn't public backlash, it could have been three to four. I think Ben Shalong was saying, yeah, he needs a few more. He won't say he need one more. As we've seen with Wardley versus Clark, both fighters are running much more and it's a bigger fight. Fighting the Eubank is going to take Azeem to a superstar level. Not Harlem, it's not. No one knows him. I'm casually in boxing. I can't tell you anything about Harlem. Apart from his Chris Eubank Jr. and seen his brother and son. Oops. <laughs> That's the truth. Well, don't lie about it. Yeah? You're not fighting Conor McGregor in mixed martial arts here. Stop lying. Harlem meant no one to no one. That's the truth. I'm the ca I know where I'm a casual, so I know what casuals are thinking, and nothing about Harlem Eubank. <laughs> That's the gods on his truth. I'm not, I'm not hating. If Harlem Eubank was buzzing, yeah, I'd say that. He's not. So what are you lying for? Like it's a big, massive opportunity. Not like even a, obviously different weight classes, but even Conor Ben, that makes sense. Conor Ben's got some buzz. Eubank Junior's got some buzz. If it was for them kind of fights, I get it. Harlem Eubank, no, no one knows him. Not looking down in a profile sense and fighting a very tough fight early on in his career. Jordan Thompson was slung in versus J.R. Patea. What's that done for his career? Well, listen, I haven't watched that fight, but listen, Jordan Thompson can tap himself on the back and say, listen, he made that journey to Valhalla. He's a warrior. Yeah, he wanted some and he got it. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, someone's got to lose, but he can pat himself on the back and say, you know what, man? I rolled the dice and I came up lacking. Yeah? The boxing gods can live with that. They can't live with a scary-ass dude who pretending to be a champion and dropping belts like a goofball. Banned from Europe, in my opinion. He hadn't even fought at English level. Smith vs Azeem will be one of the biggest fights in British boxing. Set out an arena and possibly be pay-per-view. They'll earn five slash six times what they would if it happened next. But the thing is, people... My issue is, Dalton wants it. Yeah? All due respect, I don't know Azeem, I don't know Dalton. I know, at this point, it's two dudes I ain't got nothing, I know nothing about. One wants it, and one don't. In my mind, from a casual perspective, no one knows either of these dudes. Yeah? Let's not make out that Azeem's some big name who's buzzing. Because if he was, I'd have, I've heard his name about, I haven't watched him once. Which is a good test for a, I'm a listen, I'm at least a casual fan. And I ain't, I ain't watched him once. So he ain't buzzing either. You got two dudes not buzzing. How you get buzzing. He's getting there. Yeah. And all due respect. I didn't watch the fight. But I heard Jordan Thompson's name. When it was linked to Opatea. For a belt. Nothing wrong with that. Someone's got to lose it. It's like all the people who fight Paterbiev. You know you're going to lose. But you got to go in there. And run it. To find out. That's the game. You don't say, well, Baturbiev, he's too hard. He is hard. I mean, if there's anyone who says too hard, it's probably Baturbiev, right? <laughs> there's one dude I'd say, yeah, he, he gonna, that's going to be my ass. <laughs> if I get in there with Baturbiev, that's 100% going to be my ass. Not even speculatively speaking. Not even speculatively speaking, people. That is actually the fact. Baturbiev, 100% of the time, it's statistically significant, people. Yeah? He will knock your ass out every time. That's going to end up being your ass every time. No doubt. 100%. And still people get in there with Baturbiev, knowing their fate. Knowing they're fixing to make it to Valhalla. Every time they go in there. Every time they're going to be looking at themselves from, from up above. That is the journey, of, that is the lonely journey, unfortunately, you must take. Especially as a fake European champion. Yeah? If it's your destiny that Dalton Smith come in there and smoke your ass, well, that's what happens. Someone's got to get smoked. Well, what are you doing here? What, what is this? Do you think you can win them all? Is that what it is? And back in the day, a loss didn't mean so much. You could lose and come back. As long as you fought hard and, and beat some good people in the mix there. Nigel Ben wasn't undefeated. Eubank wasn't undefeated. Get in. Look at mixed martial arts. It's better if you're undefeated, but not every, it's, not, it's not realistic. Sport. Go in there, fight hard, improve your skills, fight hard again, and hopefully, if you're good enough, you'll be at the top-ish. There's no, no one's jerking off undefeated dudes, as such. It's great if you can do it. Who knows, maybe Adam Azim will beat Dalton Smith and he'll still be undefeated. That's the game you're in. No one asks you to get in this game. Anyway. Finally, Ben Shalong says the following. 
Here we go. Ben Chalong has publicly challenged Hearn to sit down with him for a face-to-face -face meeting to discuss fights between Boxer and Sky, Matchroom and the Zone, as the pair have never met before. Let's sit down, let's make some fights. Fair play to him. Fair play to Chalong. But it's a bit late, yeah? Why you, you make the make the Azim versus Smith fight, right? Uh, it's no good bottling that and then now oh, let's talk now. Oh, uh, my name Ben Shalong. I'm gonna bottle all the fights and then let's talk about the bottom feeders if that makes sense. There's things in the present that need to be done. Could have been done. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let off the bell 100%. No doubt about this one.